very uh, big treasure to us that we are uh, uh, enjoying the, with, him, with him today. The, uh, the exhibition we're attending today is The Black Cat by Dr. Mohsen Shalan. It's a very moving and powerful uh, statement by the, uh, the artist of his ordeal, his very traumatic ordeal uh, that he passed through recently, his um, imprisonment. And uh, the, the, the exhibition tells of his emotions and daily uh, impressions of people who were with him. and. Um, uh, his, his feelings of, of, of different feelings and how he felt about being uh, wrongly imprisoned. Uh, the the, uh, the uh, exhibition is very unique because you don't usually, you would not come across, in, or we haven't come across in the history of art, of any artist uh, that has been imprisoned and uh, coming back to us and telling us the story in paintings. In fact, this is, is going to be quite a landmark in the history of art in Egypt. And uh, he has done it very beautifully, very powerfully. He's a very sensitive artist. And um, just looking at the paintings, I could actually feel how he felt and all the feelings that went through his mind. And, and it, it's, it's, it's very well executed and it's um, um, quite prolific as well. I mean, he spent his time well, at least in the, uh, while there, you know, recording his impressions and his feelings. So this is like a sort of an, um, a, an autobiography, his own story. And um, I think it will last, I mean, it's, it's a story to be told for many generations. And uh, I hope that um, it will be well received and well attended. Uh, he deserves this. He deserves to be recognized. He is a very well recognized artist and a figure in, in Egyptian public life and in the art scene in Egypt. And I think that this, um, with this, uh, he's beginning to come back. So I wish him all the best of luck and uh, many, many more years of productive work.
event was held recently to encourage young children on becoming very artists of their own. Let's follow this segment to find out what the children have been up to and who taught them how to be young artists and innovators. I'm an artist. Uh, I work as a teacher in school here and um, I work with uh, different ages but uh, first of all I'm working now in a middle and high school. We have some kids in um, uh, American and we have some kids in a British and most of us have some uh, kids, uh, some of the directors direct the kids in um, middle school British teacher and some Egyptian teacher and we try to give them some art skills and uh, let them to respect the art lesson not only just to come and play because it's art art it's not playing it's art it's some of pleasure and if we feel happy we can do everything around uh, we let everything around us to be nice and at the same time we have aim in the school that we let the kids to love art because it's not a subject and respect it because it's really a place they do whatever they want inside it. They, uh, it, it will be like motivation area for them sitting, uh, using clay, using uh, paint and some of the skills they gain from the teacher, they already start to be an artist in the future. Usually we try to let them to touch the paint, touch the pencil, use the paint with their brush, use the different tools, different media. different colors, different techniques like oil painting and usually we, uh, not in any school, give the kids oil paint. They usually give the school, the, the kids watercolor. We try to let them to use uh, something, let them to be an artist one day. Acrylic paint, uh, oil paint, uh, hard pastel, soft pastel, using pencil in different shades and different techniques. And we let them, we give them variety of uh, media and let them to do it very free, like mosaic. Usually we use, we use mosaic in a college, batik in college, uh, sculpture like clay in college also. Uh, try, try to build a person to be one day an artist. painting has been portrayed in the Oprah House Fair and I'd like to thank uh, everyone who has encouraged me to paint my painting and especially my teachers and I'd like to thank thanks the Oprah for allowing us to portray all our artworks here 
and um, every, uh, our teachers encourage us to, to, to do our best in painting. They encourage us to draw whatever we, that comes to mind because it allows us to have a big vision of the world and, and it, it, encourages, it encourages every single person in the world to, 